We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we celebrate today this Holy Eucharist and the memorial of St. Barnabas the Apostle and the parish of St. Hyacinth, San Jacinto Pangasinan, offers this as a thanksgiving to the Lord through our Blessed Mother. And to be less unworthy and celebrate the Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, Virgin, Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who decreed that St. Barnabas, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, should be set apart to convert the nations, grant that the gospel of Christ, which he strenuously preached, may be faithfully proclaimed by word and by deed. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manaen who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul, for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for Him, His holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. 
The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song, with the trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. According to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the twelve, As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons without cause you have received without cause you are to give do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts no sack for the journey or a second tunic or sandals or walking stick the laborer deserve his keep Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it, and stay there until you leave. As you enter a home, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang salitang manawag ay salitang pangasinan. At kapag sinabing manawag ay galing sa salitang Tawag, Jad Pangasinan, tatawagan to tayo. So kapag tinatawag ka, ano, eh, kailangan sasagot ka. And pag sinabi natin Our Lady of Manawag, siya ay a lady who calls. 
say ina yaman tatawag at sikatayo. Kaya taon-taon ginagawa natin itong Misa di Gracia at ang bayan po ng Sanasinto ay nandito ngayon para tugunan ang tawag ng ating inang Berhing Maria. Although napakalapit nating bayan, boundary lang ang bagitan, ano? ay nandito tayo taon-taon. At bilang tugon sa tawag ng ating inang Berhing Maria, let us reflect on her message sa ating Ibanghelyo ngayon sa kapistahan ni St. Barnabas. At sa pamagitan ng mensahe ng kanyang anak ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, makikita din natin niya ng mensahe ng ating Inang Berhing Maria sa atin. Ang sabi ng ating Inang Berhing Maria in the other part of the Gospel, Do whatever He tells you. Gawin natin lahat ang sinasabi ni Kristo. So tignan po natin ang ating Ibanghelyo. Jesus said to the twelve, ang sabi niya, As you go, make this proclamation. Una, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yan ang unang mensahe sa atin. Ang kaharian ng Diyos, malapit na. So ang kaharian ng Diyos, pag sinabi natin, ito ay isang lugar na dapat pangarap ng bawat isa sa atin. Alam po natin, ang buhay ay magkli lamang. Ang buhay natin sa mundo ay temporary lamang. At lahat tayo dapat pangarap natin ay mapunta sa kaharian ng Diyos. We go to the better place. At ang kaharian ng Diyos ay punong-puno ng kasiyahan. The kingdom of happiness. Masaya sa kaharian ng Diyos. Pero for the time being, we are not yet there. Pero we can make Our world today, a place of heaven. Paano? Sa buhay natin, lagi dapat natin maging grateful sa mga bagay-bagay na dumadating sa atin. Maging masaya tayong tao. Magiging masaya lang tayo kapag we appreciate lahat ng blessings na binibigay ng Diyos sa atin. Kaya nga, ang Misa di Gracia ay Misa ng pasasalamat. Pasasalamat dahil binigyan tayo ng buhay. Pasasalamat sa Diyos dahil may lakas tayo. Pasasalamat sa Diyos dahil may pamilya tayo. Pasasalamat sa Diyos dahil mahal tayo ng Diyos. Pasasalamat sa Diyos dahil may mga taong tumutulong sa atin. Pasasalamat sa Diyos dahil ang Diyos ay hindi tayo pinababayaan. So, ang dami nating dapat ipagpasalamat sa Kanya. At dapat yung pagpapasalamat mo ay nangangahulugang masaya kang tao. Dahil you appreciate everything na nangyayari sa buhay mo ay grasya ng Diyos. Blessing mula sa Diyos. Kaya nga kung ikaw isang taong laging nagkukomplain, ikaw ay isang malungkot na tao. Dahil lahat ng nakikita mo ay mga bagay na hindi kaaya-aya at hindi lahat ng bagay na nakikita natin, we appreciate it. Kaya hindi ka magpapasalamat. Kasi ikaw ay tao na reklamador. At kapag halimbawa, ikaw ay laging malungkot, hindi heaven ang buhay mo. And that is why for us na magkaroon tayo ng 
kaharian ng Diyos sa lupa, let us be grateful lagi. Smile. Don't make life miserable. At kapag kayo ay laging nagsisimba, ibig sabihin yan, ikaw ay masayang tao. Dahil lagi kang nagpapasalamat sa Diyos. Ang mga taong masasaya lamang ang marunong magpasalamat. Dahil na-appreciate nila. Kung masaya ka sa buhay mo, marunong kang magpasalamat. At yan, taon-taon natin, bilang isang parokya, bilang isang bayan, nandito tayo nagpapasalamat sa Diyos sa pamagitan ng ating inang Berhing Maria. Okay, yan ang una. The kingdom of God is at hand. Kaharian ng Diyos, nandito na sa atin kung tayo ay marunong magpasalamat. Kung tayo ay masaya sa buhay natin. Yan ang una. Pangalawa, sa ating Ibanghelyo, sinabi ni Kristo sa mga disipulo niya, sabi niyo dito, Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts, no sack for the journey or a second tunic, or sandals or walking stick. Sabi niya, nung sinabi niya sa mga disipulo niya, pumunta kayo sa ibang lugar, pero huwag kayong magdadala kahit ano. Ang ibig sabihin ni Kristo sa mga disipulo niya, travel light. And that is the second message of Jesus to us today. Travel light. Alam niyo po ang ating inang Berhing Maria noong siya ay umakyat sa langit. Madali siyang nakaakyat sa langit dahil Mary was very light. Magaan lang siya. Kaya kung magaan lang tayo, madali tayong makakamove. We can go anywhere pag magaan tayo. Kaya limbawa, tignan nyo yung katabi ninyo. Magaan ba yung katabi ninyo? Ah, huwag nyo akong titignan, sigurado. <laughs> yung katabi nyo, tignan nyo, magaan ba? O kaya mabigat. Kapag mabigat tayo, mabigat yung buhay, hindi tayo makamove on. Ang hirap ng buhay, magmabigat. Kaya sabi ng Panginoong Heso Kristo, okay, if you are going to a journey, travel light. Let us leave our attachments, yung ating mga problema sa buhay na ito. May nagsabi nga, angels move faster. Not because dahil mayroon silang pagpag, but because angels do not carry anything. Wala silang dala. Kaya ang bilis-bilis ng mga anghel, nakakalipad sila. At yan ang tinuturo kung bakit nagkaroon tayo ng pandemic. Mas nakita natin dito ang essential sa non-essential. Kaya alam na natin kung ano yung mas importante na kailangan natin sa buhay. At isa lamang sinasabi ng pandemic na ito, ang Diyos, hindi tayo pababayaan. Huwag tayong umasa sa mga material na bagay. Dahil kahit anong pera mo, huwag tinamaan ka ng sakit, wala magagawa ang pera natin. Ang may magagawa lamang ang Diyos sa atin. And that is why it is very essential na nandyan ang Diyos sa atin. Lahat man mawala sa atin, huwag lang mawawala ang Diyos sa buhay natin. And that is why yung anyong pananampalataya, yan ang pinaka-importante 
nahawakan natin. Sa buhay natin, material possessions are nothing. They cannot save us. Our faith in God can save us. And that is why let us travel light. Sa buhay natin, mas magandang mag-travel kapag magaan lang tayo. Kaya yan ang pangalawang mensahe ni Kristo sa atin. At ang pangatlo na mensahe ni Kristo sa atin, sabi niya, As you enter a house, wish in peace. Wish peace. Kapayapaan. Kapag mayroon kasing kapayapaan, mayroon yung positive yung mood sa buhay natin. Para bang wala kang iniisip na problema. Kapag may kapayapaan, ibig sabihin, you leave everything to the Lord, mayroong kapanatagan ang buhay. At yan ang gawin natin bilang isang Kristiyano, nananampalataya sa Diyos. Our world today is engulfed in so many crises in life. Financial. Ang dami-daming problema natin. Tumataas lahat ng presyo ang bilihin. Walang trabaho yung iba. Umaasa lang tayo minsan sa tulong ng iba. Pero maging positive pa rin tayo. Like our blessed mother, my dear friends, she had all sorts of problems in her life. But she lifted up everything to the Lord. Kaya ngayon, lahat ng problema natin, lahat ng pangamba natin sa buhay, let us keep praying and let us lift everything to the Lord. Di tayo pababayaan ng Diyos. And so my dear friends, andito ang ating inang Berhing Maria. Aakayin niya tayo palapit sa kanyang anak. At si Jesus, siya yung kailangan natin sa buhay natin. At kung nandiyan ang Diyos, hindi tayo pababayaan. Amen. Please stand. Prayers to the faithful. Let us pray to God, the Father, who wants all persons to be saved and come to the knowledge of truth. Let our response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit may guide the Pope, the bishops, and priests in promoting the cause of the mission. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That missionaries may proclaim Christ to the world, not by power or prestige, but by humble service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That love of God and neighbor may inspire the lay faithful to collaborate in the missionary task of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians may realize the responsibility of spreading, spreading the good news of salvation to all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That young men and women may have the courage to answer the call of Christ and to serve in the missionary apostolate. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, it is your will that your kingdom be proclaimed and established everywhere. Through the intercession of Saint Barnabas, grant fruitfulness to our missionary endeavor. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify this with your blessing, we pray, O Lord. And the offerings presented here, so that by your grace they may set us on fire with the flame of your love, by which Saint Barnabas brought the light of the gospel to the nations through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Leave up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on the apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching therefore now for ages and ending with all the hosts of angels we sing to you with all our hearts crying out as we acclaim You're indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts of pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this, the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks and held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered to one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all of thy mercy. Welcome them to the light of face. Have mercy in us all, we pray. That the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, all the saints who are pleased throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to the life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As Jesus taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in the days, that with the help of mercy we also free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace give you. Look not, now was since the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in the course of will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. 
we offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who go to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. The Mary Help of Christian Seminary System is inviting all young men in high school, college, or young professionals to consider a vocation to be a priest for the service of the Archdiocese of Lingayen Dagupan. A vocation to the priesthood is a special grace not given to all men. 
it is great blessing for a family to be able to offer a son or brother to be a priest. Those who are interested to enter the seminary are invited to approach any of the priests in the parish who will gladly assist them in the seminary admission requirements. Let us beg the Lord to send more priests to his vineyard in Lingayen Dagupan. Please stand. Let us pray. As we receive the pledge of eternal life, we humbly implore you, o Lord, that what we celebrate in sacramental signs on the memorial of the blessed Apostle Barnabas, we may one day behold unveiled through Christ our Lord. Amen. Say imno na sanasinto. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you gathered here, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Pakitaas lahat ng inyong mga religious articles, your rosaries. And after this prayer, uh, wag na kayong pupunta dito sa harap. Okay? May mga iikot na sa inyo for the blessing ng inyong mga religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these mysteries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.